Now this illustration deals with other listed devices in accordance with NEC 250.92B as in boy 4. Now this would be a situation where with the right fittings, you wouldn't have to uh, install a, uh, a bonding jumper. Now notice in figure 16-96 now, at the very top, we have bushings. Now we have a self U-shape uh, uh, bushing that is self uh, bonding because it has a screw that will bond it into the raceway. Then we just have a, a regular type bushing, round bushing, that has a screw that bonds it in. Now in the illustration below it, we have a uh, a lock nut that is self-binding, and all we need is one. We could have a bush and self-binding or one lock nut self-binding where there's two uh, uh, connecting that uh, threaded raceway to the enclosure in accordance with 250.92B4. And then at the very bottom, we have standard lock nuts. Again, meaning what? There's no screw uh, or no means to bind any one of the lock nuts or bushing to the enclosure. Then we would have to have a metal bushing with a lug on it and a bonding jumper uh, would be put in uh, on it in accordance with 250.92B. So that's what this illustration 16-96 is illustrating. Other listed devices that could be used to bond and ground raceways into the service equipment enclosure in accordance with NEC 250.92 B as in boy 4.